yeah, so what I have here is a controller that has bad directions on it. This is plugged into one, so it's going to be up there on the top. See how it's not getting those corners? I bet you if I was a really foresight issue, I might be able to get them, but no, it's not getting there. So I'm going to try to fix it right now. I'll go ahead and just unplug this off of here. Take my screwdriver. I'm going to remove the back. I'm going to give you a quick little tour of how the controller works inside. You see there is four directional contacts there. Up, down, left, and right. Now if you want to go on a diagonal, then you have to push up and right at the same time to go that way. Up and left to go that way, and so forth. The joystick lays, this part, the flat part of the joystick right here, lays on this ring and pushes down. And these little fingers that stick out from the side push down on the metal contact, and they make the contact inside. This is a failure point. Over the years, the decades, this little piece of plastic gets weaker and weaker to the point now where the joystick pushes down, If you're going, especially if you're going at an angle, it's not pushing both of them down enough to contact them both. So what I've done is, and by the way, this is one of those fascinating ones where they made the keypad weird. What I've done is I designed up something. Here's my 3D printer. It's basically it's just a ring that sits outside of that. And it lets the controller now push down directly on it instead of on the ring and using the flexibility of the plastic. So we're gonna give that a shot. It just sets on sets in here and it's gonna be a little floppy putting it in, but once it's in place and together. It won't go anywhere. So we put that there like so. And make sure that ring don't move around on me. This is the first time I'm putting one in here together. I've tested it by looking at it, but I've never assembled it yet. On camera, that is. Yeah. Okay, stayed in place where I wanted it. I might have to make a change to that, but I wanted to keep it very simple. I did not want to make it complicated. I'm not trying to replace the part that's in there. I'm just giving it a helping hand to have, let it do what it's supposed to do. Which in this case is push down on the contacts when you lean at angles. Or even when you're just going left, right, up, or down. We want to put that contact down. done. I'm going to reset that so I have a clean screen again. Plug it back into controller one. And let's see what we got now. This is the first real demo of this. Look at that. Beautiful. Well, sweet she works. Isn't that Hunky dory and everything else you could say. These little rings I just printed up. I'll put a link to the STL file if you want to use them to download and try it yourself. I'm not saying that they're going to last forever. They may only last a few days and break. They could break the controller. But at this point, you know that controller had an issue already. It wasn't working. So now I've just made it work again. And look at me. I'm not even. I'm not even forcing the issue now. Look how smoothly I'm getting every diagonal. Ooh, this is sweet. There you go. Another 40 years. It'll outlast me now. Have a good day.